Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski. Well, they'll try to salvage what has been a tough road trip with a win tonight. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Bruins have won the draw, and we are now underway. Fires it! Can't get it to go! Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And now he passes it to Radish. Handles the puck. The Bruins have it from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that's deflected off someone in front. Pushes it across to Jones. Quick pass to Hall. And that's poked away by Lindholm. Tries to get the puck over to McAvoy. Uses the force on that hit. Shot! Oh, a clutch save! Puck battle along the boards. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. And he feeds it down to Hall. Receives the pass. Puts it on net. No room for that one to get through. Quick feed to Lindholm. Looks to pass it to Pasternak. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Gains the zone on the left wing. Moves it to Stanley. Slides the puck down low. Here's a shot. And he had an answer with that save. Great goaltenders have an uncanny ability to get to a set position and be able to fight through a screen as he's able to make this save. Moves it quickly over to Colton. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Athanasiu. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And he shuts the door again. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Allmark's great at tracking the play, guys, especially when there's traffic in front of the net. He battles for a sight line to be able to catch up to those incoming shots, and we call that his X-ray zone ability. And it's such a huge part of his game. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And he takes the pass. And he loses control here. Passes it to Johnson. Here's a short pass to Hall. And now he moves it quickly to Murphy. And that one's turned away. No for that shot to go through. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Trying to get back on the attack now. The Bruins played along the boards. Makes the club stop. The Blackhawks have it now. Slides it over to Radish. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And a stick breaks that up. Steps into all of that. Handles the pass. Here's a shot. Oh, and it goes just over the net. What a chance right there. That's a tough miss, James. I mean, that's a quality offer. Brings the ball off the post. So frustrating when you don't get the bounces and you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, if you get the opening goal, the momentum's all in your favor. Here's a shot, and that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Big save, just as time runs out. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? These are the types of games where you play tentative defensively. You want to make sure that you have your player, you're closing down the neutral zone, and you don't want to give up anything. You don't take any offensive risks or chances, and it's showing in the thought selection, James. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. McAvoy's taking it from his own end. Gets a little bit of the puck there to deny them. Here's a pass down low. Oh, just a great heads up play by Jones. Feeds it on over to Hall. The Bruins gain possession. Picked up 
along the wall by Marchand. Oh, she keeps that one out of the net. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Here they come. And now he tries to get it across to Hall. Johnson's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Boston's got the puck along the wall. And she makes the save. I don't think she got all of it, but just enough. Roxham. He's got it behind the cage. Sends it over to Radish. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Tosses it to Tatar. He carries the puck up along the wing. Great poke check on the reach. Slides it over with pace to Rifle. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Boston's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Tatar. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone, and that's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Nice zone entry from the left. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Moves the puck up to Athanasiu. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Skates across the blue line. There's another great save. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Carlos got the puck in his own zone. Now he takes it over the line. Boston's got possession here in the offensive zone. Oh, amazing save. How did it stay out? I have no idea, James. We know she's athletic, but the desperation along with the athleticism is the only thing that makes that save. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here in the late going to the frame, still looking for our first goal. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. Chicago's got the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes the feed. Levels him with the hit. Quick pass to Bergeron. Oh, how did that stay out? She just got a piece of it. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. It has been all advantage goalies for the first 40 minutes. Will that change here in the third? Scooped up along the wall by Bergeron. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Play is called for offside. left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Chicago's gonna start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Here he is, wrists it on net. Way too much congestion blocks that. Quick feed to Radish. Takes a bump but hangs onto the puck. Oh, misses the net. What a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the tendy. Now a quick pass to Johnson. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, Bell, and he's down for the count. Into the offensive end now. Reaches out and uses the stick. Fantastic save! And it's a quick pass to McAvoy. Moves the puck. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. That goes off a twig. There he is from the slot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Olmark. 
I love the way he gets to the top of his crease. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to fight and find the puck, and he does exactly that to make the save. Blocked in traffic. Boston's got possession of the puck. Dished on over to Pasternak. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Boston's got possession at center. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Moves it to Reichel. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Takes the pass. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Here they come on the attack. Oh, tremendous reflexes as she gets a piece of that one. Hammers one at the net. And now it's grabbed by Jones. Works it across to Radish. Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a pass in front, and it's blocked. Picked up along the boards by Johnson. And he takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Olmark's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Anaheim's on the schedule next, and tickets still available for this one, so get them before they're gone. Late goings of this period were still scoreless. The Bruins start with the puck in their own end. Battle along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. Takes possession. Denies him! Oh, there's one more! He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Just a play of the squeeze here in the offensive end. The fans are all over it. Takes it in the corner. Quick pass to Stanley. Well, there you go, 16 minutes has been played out and still no winner, so we go to sudden death overtime. Lock in, folks, because this should be electric. Stay with us. A lot of different choices on social media as to who will be the hero here in overtime. Let's find out who's got the game on their stick. Oh, you can feel the tension in this arena. Sudden death overtime is underway. Olmark's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single puck and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. A chance in the rush here! It's a save! Who thought it would stay out? He might have a step here. He's in the clear! Barry's in for the goal! And there it is! This one's all! Welcome to the Madhouse. Hi, it's James Sabalski for EA Sports. We're in Chicago, the home of the Hawks. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Panthers will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here.
Chicago's talked a lot about getting off to good starts, and look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game, and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice, they want to contribute, they want to be the one to get the goal on the board and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Duclair. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come on the rush. Feeds it over on the attack. And he takes a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. The Panthers gain the zone. Stop with ease. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. More than half the period left to play. Chicago's ahead, 1-0. The Panthers win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Scooped up along the wall by Duclair. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Kachuk's creative. He's skilled and loves to try unconventional plays to beat goaltenders. We call this his It's Tricky Zone ability. Jones defends well, but he can transition to offense when the opportunity presents itself. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Dances around the defender, look out! Made the stop on the play. Oh, and another beauty stop right there! He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And that doesn't reach the net. Taken along the wall by Barkov. He carries the puck up along the wing. Fires it! Big time stop! That's a blocker on it! And down he goes as the puck goes free. 